What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the new Spotlight SIM cards and which of them I think are going to be worth it in NBA 2K20 my team. So lads, I made a huge, huge mistake and you're going to see it in the next episode of the No Money Spent series. I accidentally bought all of these cards on, um, on PS4 instead of PC, so I spent a bunch of MT in my No Money Spent series accidentally on some of these lower tier cards. So I am now going to have to do whatever I can to recuperate any MT from these guys. I'm probably going to lose at 30 to 40k in what was a seriously, seriously dumb decision. But um, yeah, uh, just for that, just for that, if you guys could subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated and leave a like. And I know you guys can't see it, but I'm currently frantically trying to sell these cards, find out a price to sell them for it before they've gone down in price. And by the looks of it, I think I've lost. Man, I've lo already lost. I was just buying them for the sake of it. I've already lost tens of thousands of MT lads. Oh man, this is going to be a long, long day. I think I've lost, I've lost all the MT I profited on. So I profited a bunch of MT on a bunch of cards and now I've after losing it all. I've lost it all just like that. Oh no lads, but anyway, now we're going to go on to the stats and let's see if I'm going to keep any of them. I spent, accidentally spent every, every single cent of my MT on these cards. So now I'm going to see what I can sell and what I can make back for them. But lads, it is not looking good. I was buying recklessly like it was PC. But uh, yeah, so Costa's onto the compo. He's got Yanis's animations, which um, are pretty good, to be honest. Uh, well, they're not pretty good. They're very good. However, apart from that, I don't think he's got really that much going for him. So like Costas is a 6'10 center. Position-wise, he's okay, I guess. Um, or sorry, um, shooting-wise, he's okay. Speed-wise, he's very good for a center. However, the lack of 86 ball control is not great. He's also, there are just some negatives to this card. Like his defense is overall solid, but again, not great. I would have expected a little bit better from some of these cards. Uh, but overall, just again, a solid, solid card stats wise. However, I don't see him being anything spectacular. And at this stage in the game, if a card's not spectacular, even if they are an amethyst, there's no real use to them. Yeah, he's got quick first step, which is definitely a really solid badge to have. But that's kind of it. Like, he's got quick draw, which makes him kind of usable. Defensively, he's got gold clamps. Got rim protector, which helps. But I don't... There's nothing that stands out in this card as he's going to be exceptional. Do I think he'll be just overall solid? Probably. I think he will just be an overall solid, solid player. And apart from that, I think... That it's just going to be one of those kind of filler cards in packs. I think there might be a bit of hype around them because he's Giannis' brother, but I think that's really it. Bryn Forbes. This card could be half decent, especially because he's like 6.5k MT and only going down. This card could end up at like 2 to 3k MT. And for that price, I think he could be quite decent. I actually do think he could be quite decent. So he's got a really, really good three-point shot. And that's kind of all he really has going for him. Yeah, he's got some uh, decent speed stats, but he's not going to be dunking really. I think 65 driving dunk is not very good at all. And defensively, he's honestly not great. So I would have thought that he would need a couple of good defensive badges to be effective. However, he doesn't have them. So I wouldn't really say that he's going to be the greatest card in the world. If his, The fact he's Hall of Fame quick draw means he has the potential to be a really good card. So if his release turns out to be really, really good, then you just never know. You just never know. This card could be kind of a hidden gem, but I don't see him being expensive whatsoever. I see him being around that 3, 4k MT mark, and for that price, he might actually be quite effective. If Costas goes down to that price, he might be decent enough, but I think Costas will stay a little bit higher because of the hype, obviously, with Giannis. However, Bryn Forbes, who's going to be around the 2, 3k MT, is actually going to be quite a solid card um for that price depending on release obviously if it's released terribly he's gonna be terrible and we've got dj augustine and dj augustine is a bit of a weird one because he kind of does there's nothing really wrong with this card per se but he's just well there is one thing wrong sorry stats wise there's nothing wrong there is one major thing wrong and i see five, that he's, that's be, that's that he's five foot eleven i'm struggling to speak right now because I can't believe they didn't just make him six foot tall like they did on his other card or they did on his normal cards. 
I can't believe they didn't just give him a fake height like they've done with plenty of players. They've made plen given plenty of players fake heights. But no, they had to uh, keep him at 5'11", make him even smaller than his listed height. But he's got a great three ball, great ball handle, great speed, great defense. So, like, you're looking at his badges as well. 27 Hall of Fames. Some of the best Hall of Fame badges in the game. The problem is, is that, like, you could definitely... There are situations where he definitely might be able to hold his own, I guess. But... I don't know how many of those situations uh, exist. Like, I don't see him being able to hold his own really against anyone 6'3 or above. I don't see him being able to hold his own against, like, Simmons or Giannis. He's going to be destroyed. If you're coming up against an Iverson, he might be okay. If you're coming up against a Steph Curry or a Jimmer or something, other than that, he'll struggle. However, if you are coming against one of those players, he could be all right. But, yeah, he's just too small to be good. He is just way, way too small to be good. And we got Jabari Parker right here. Jabari Parker has got a good mid-range shot. He's got a good three ball. To be honest, every single one of his stats is above an 80 overall. So, like, none of them are bad per se. Again, he just doesn't excel in anything. Like, he does not excel in anything. I don't think, I think he'll be usable. If you're a big Jabari Parker fan, I think he's going to be perfectly fine. But other than that, I don't see any real purpose for um, Jabari Parker, to be completely honest. I think that you can definitely get better alternatives than him for relatively cheap. And I also think that he's just, again, just met, like badges wise, yeah, he's all right. Hall of Fame quick draw, could be, a, could be a game changer. If his release is fantastic, then yeah, he's gonna be usable. However, I don't know if his release is gonna be fantastic. So if you guys are looking for a Jabari Parker type card, just get this card right here, almost identical stats-wise. Like, if you look at Rui Hachimura, he's got almost identical stats to a Jabari Parker. Even though Parker is really good, they're just almost identical. Next, we have got Tyler Hero. So, Tyler Hero. I'm going to say this right now. Tyler Hero is going to be a really just overall great card. We know how good Tyler Hero's release is. Like Tyler Hero's Ruby had one of the best releases in NBA 2K20, my team. Like that was a card that I used a lot. It's a card that everyone kind of used a lot. And he was just a beast. He was an insane, insane card. And this card is just a complete juiced up version of that. He can handle the ball. He's got a great driving dunk of 85. He's got great speed, speed ball and acceleration. Just overall, he does absolutely everything. And... Yeah, we all know what his animations are like. So we know this Tyler Hero is obviously going to be a really, really good card. So I'm going to check on his badges right now. And his badges are pretty good as well. So like Acrobat, Relentless Finisher. He's got 30 Hall of Fame. So he doesn't have much. He actually only has one more Hall of Fame badge than someone like a DJ Augustine. Except a quick draw range extender on a 6'6 guy who already had a good release. Man, it's going to be insane. He has all the necessary badges. He has either gold or Hall of Fame. Got handles for days, unpluckable. So, like, you could be seen, for lack of a better word, as Ty Debo or Splat, or as Ty Debo especially would say, he can be moving and grooving. Like, he can let, you can use him as your primary ball handler. I'm telling you, if he can come off screens and shoot from deep, he could be, repl he could be like my Brandon Roy equivalent on my money spent team. He could be unbelievable. He's going to lock people down. Hopefully his dribbling is good. And hopefully Quick Draw makes his already good. Hall of Fame Quick Draw makes his already good release into a great release. Then last up is Ja Morant. So Ja Morant has got solid mid, solid three. Got great ball handle, great speed. So like, there's a lot of things with Ja Morant that he's just... Like it's the same with um, almost every point guard. Like he's basically got almost equivalent stats of pretty much all the point guys they're all basically the exact same so badges and release are well I'll separate this guy so he's got hall of fame clamps hall of fame range extender hall of fame um pogo stick quick first step gold oh is that new quick first step sorry quick first step hall of fame hall of fame i don't know i don't know why i thought he had quick first step gold he got pickpocket gold what does he have yeah he's picked dodger gold range extender yeah quick draw gold his release pretty good so basically, he's Russell Westbrook. He is Russell Westbrook. I don't see much difference in stats. I don't see much difference in badges. This is Russell Westbrook, lads. So if do you want to spend extra MT probably on a Russell Westbrook? Probably not. So I don't doubt Jazz worth it. He's literally just Westbrook. So 
from these cards right here, there is uh, there is one of them that may be relevant, Tyler Hero. I think Bryn Forbes and Costas, depending on price, might be good for budget players. I don't see Augustine being great. And Jabari Parker is essentially a clone of Rui Moore. So anyway, yep, that is the video. These are the new cards. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.